Welcome to Calawegian Fly Fishing with Robert Smart. Now, here's Robert. Greetings. Now, in this video, I'm going to tie a squirmy worm. It's a controversial fly. A lot of fly fish fishermen wouldn't be caught dead with this thing in their box. Um, I'm kind of one of them. I debated even not putting up this video, but... Uh, on my side, I like to show you how to do as much as I can. And there's going to be some guys that are willing to use this. Uh, if my brother caught me with one of these in my box, he'd call me sad. Uh, but, you know, you're fishing and they're not hitting a darn thing you throw at them. Out of desperation, you might try this. Um, now... One thing to remember, a lot of fly fishing only areas, like in some of the state parks, say you can't use any rubber lure. And this would classify as that. So you could use the same approach with a piece of red yarn as opposed to the rubber material if you wanted to. But anyway, though I'm somewhat embarrassed by putting this up, I'm going to show you how to tie this wormy worm. So here we go. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, we're going to tie a squirmy worm. All you need is your thread and a piece of this rubber worm material. You can get this about anywhere. Okay. And you would use a piece of the material about two, two and a quarter inches long. Now, I'm putting a bead head on this, which is usually not done, which will help it sink. This is a curved size 10 hook. Build up a little in front of that bead. Okay. Now, I'm going to. Well, this is woven thread, so it's not looking like it's going to expand. So put that center of that worm on the hook. Then we're going to take Two loose wraps like that. You do any tighter than loose, it'll cut the rubber. Then you come to the front, you pull this a little bit, you build that up a little. So it'll kind of pinch. And we come forward. Two more wraps. No tighter than the weight of that bobbin. We come in front. Do some more. And we do it again. Look forward, forward. Got 
more wraps it's loose and then in front Close that bead, that front's sticking up a little bit. I don't think that'll matter. It'll still look like a worm. Then, then we're gonna whip finish. Okay, now the last step is I'm going to put some UV cement along that bottom exposed thread. Um, you do not want to use regular head cement like hard as hull because it'll melt melt that rubber. So, with this UV, it won't, it won't melt it. Get that on there real good. Cook it down. Okay, I think that's got it. There you have it. Squirmy worm with a bead head. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe.